Okay guys, yeah, you can see my PC ran into the problem and it needs to be restarted. Getting the, some error code like system thread exception not handled. So if you guys are getting the error like this, if your PC runs into the problem and it says that it needs to be restarted, you can follow the number of steps in this tutorial. Try this number of steps, one of the other steps will definitely help you. In case if it helps you, you can share this video with your friends and family. Okay guys, you're going to type the command sfc space slash scan now it needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time, uh, let it to complete 100% and you're all done. Okay guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes your issue. Go to source and type update. Here you have check for updates. Click on it. Are you going to type check for updates straightly? So when you type check for updates, you're going to see this window. What you're going to do is, you can download and install the updates, or you can just check for the updates. It will check for all the necessary updates. Finally, you can see it is downloading and installing, and then after you can restart your PC. Do not forget to restart for the changes to take effect. So this will fix the issue. It's a, some, uh, you can see this one is completed manually, just download and install. If any options over here, it is a manually to download and install, you have to download and install manually and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So this should fix your issue. Okay guys, you're gonna run this command uh, without any spelling mistake. So you can even run this command from a advanced mode. Currently you can see it is in a administrator command prompt. So you can run this command even from X drive in an advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Access the command prompt from an advanced mode and then you can run this command. Press enter key. You can see so everything is okay. And here it is. It's a boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Okay guys, this is another command you wanna run. You can run this command also from uh, advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Press enter key. So guys, you got, I got a uh, error 87. So some, spe uh, some spelling mistakes, there's no, uh, okay. Some spelling mistake. So in case of uh, restore, I have a scan health and everything is okay. I just put the space in between and then I'm going to press uh, enter key. Now you can see it's working. So you're going to use this command instead of first one. First one really do not work. So it's just going to take some time and it will be done. So you can run this command uh, from uh, advanced mode also. If you cannot log in into your PC, so if you have a loop problem, you can run it from advanced mode, it's X drive. Just keep some time and it will be done. So if you do not proceed ahead, just uh, hit enter key and it will start working. So you can see uh, it's done with a 39, 41%. So you can see 100%. The operation completed successfully. Now you're going to exit it. And then I have to give a one restart to your computer. And then I have to check if the issue is fixed. The shift key and restart. Control suit, advanced option, it's a startup setting. Click here is a restart. Click on restart. So here we go. So you can make your choice. 
with normal with networking or command prompt. The option is four, five, and six. So let me try the normal one. So you can try whichever you like. Since uh, the normal safe mode is in number four, so either you have to press the F4 key in your keyboard or directly press number four in your keyboard. And to restart your PC, and here you go. Finally, your PC is in a safe mode. Okay guys, hold the Windows key and R in your keyboard. It will open this round dialog box. You're going to type the command. It's mdsched.exe. So this is the command that you're going to type. It's mdsched.exe. And then click on OK. It will come up with another box. It's a dialog box. Windows Memory Diagnostic. So we're going to diagnose the memory. So you can restart now and check for the problems. Even you have a second option if you would like to choose first any reason. So I'll go with the first options. Restart now and check for the problems. So to restart your PC and start checking. So it is diagnostic tool for memory. So wait till it gets completed. You can see guys down with one now it's two of two so 50 percent is down now 50 percent test is remaining
Okay, guys, you can see finally done. Once it is done, to restart your computer. So I have this fixer issue. So open the search and you can search for the BIOS. You can see download the BIOS for SP Pavilion and DV6. So you can give the exact model number of your laptop. You know the model number of your laptop. You can check the model number of your laptop in a system information or you can get the model number of a laptop or service tag from the back of your PC. You have a service tag, you have a printed over there. It's a service tag model number. So you can just find the exact driver bias for the exact PC model number. If you install unwanted, try to install unwanted bias, your system may be corrupted or damaged. So always download the exact bias driver for a for your PC uh, with a model number or a brand, you can see it's the exact model number. It's like Pavilion DB6000. It's an entertainment notebook. So you should find the exact driver for the exact model number and download and install it. If it is a Dell, you can type Dell. So depending upon the model number, if it is Dell G7, you can type Dell G7 and press enter key. This is the official web and download the exact driver through service tag or if you know the model number if you can recognize your pc through the model number in its official web you can download the bias driver and install it so click on any click on the link let me show you how to install just click on the link so always visit the official web to download the bios when you go to download the bios from the official web it may ask you for the service tag service tag you'll find at the back end of your system or maybe you find in the Receipt you purchase your PC. So enter the service tag to find the proper bias for your system. Randomly, you may install the bias of a um, of a different uh, uh, brand or a model, and that might not work. So all base download the proper bias for your system. So enter the service tag over here, and then click on search. It detects your product, and then now click on submit. Once it detects your product, you can see it's a driver and download. You can see the urgent. You can see it was released on. It's a BIOS 10 February 2020. So download it. You can see it is downloading. Now, before you install it, make sure your PC is well charged and your power cable is plugged in. So always plug in the power cable and make sure your PC is charged at least 20 to 30%. Do not unplug the power cable. Okay guys, just give a right click on it and run as an administrator on the top. Otherwise, just uh, give a double click on it. It can ask you for the permission. Click on yes. And you're going to see this. You just have to click on update. So one more time, I would like to tell you, make sure your PC is 20, 10 to, uh, sorry guys, 20 to 30 percent charged and make sure your power cable is plugged in. And while updating, do not unplug the power cable and do not turn off the PC. Otherwise, your PC might uh, crash or something might go wrong. So just before updating it. Do not unplug the power cable, make sure power cable is plugged in, 20 to 30% charged and never turn off the PC. So while updating, your PC may go black for a while and it may restart. So click on update now. So it will ask you for the restart. So you just have to restart your PC. You can see it is asking to restart. Just click on restart. You can see it is restarting. Looks like some app is running. So click on restart. And so you can see system is all black and it is updating the firmware. So it might take some time as 6% completed. Okay guys, finally it's done and it is restarting and here we go. You're just going to choose. It's a troubleshoot. 
And here you have uh, reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. Okay guys, this will restart your PC and after restarting, this is what you get. Your account one you use to log in your PC. So if it is password protected, you have to enter the password and click on continue. If it is not password protected, just directly click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, this is what you get. Resetting this PC, getting the things ready. So give us some time and it will get all the things ready. Okay guys, now here it is. Once it's once uh, it gets ready, click on reset. So now this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your PC will be all the way ready to use. So finally here is your PC all the way ready to use.